Oh, and I, I would like to add, um, when I said, when I mentioned Ponzi scheme, the reason I'm mentioning that, um, and more recently is because, um, because what took place during the heart of COVID, I mean, I know it's still going on, but the heart of COVID, a lot of people started taking their money away from the site. People was trying to withdraw their money, but they were having problems with withdrawing their money. And then other people that had money in their account, not using the money in their account, wind up having lots and large amounts of money taken from their account. So that's what I mean um, by that when it comes to the Ponzi scheme. Because that's really how Ponzi schemes work. When people are trying to withdraw their money and then they start having all these problems and every every time you look around the site, it's supposed to be been updated. They're trying to buy time so they can replace old money um, with new money. That's how it works. And that's what it was that. That's what was going on. That's exactly what it was looking like. Now, when I start mentioning um, money laundering, the reason I'm, I'm mentioning that is because I used to play the, um, the uh, I think it was um, 100, 200, 200, 400, something like that, PLO, like the biggest game on there. Um, I even played with, um, I took pictures. And I even, I think I took a little clip, but I was playing with, um, I didn't know it was him. I thought it was a fake one, but I was playing with Ben Affleck. I took thousands from him. He got some back, but I took thousands from him. A lot of people did. But Ben Affleck, if I'm saying his name right, and you know, a whole bunch of other um, celebrities. So I, I was playing those, those bigger games. And you would see the same fishy players, and it was always the same fishy players from like Russia, um, uh, Czech, uh, Czech, uh, I think Switz, not Switzerland, another place, and they would always just seem to win with unbelievable hands that a lot of the pros and even amateur PLO players wouldn't even play, or how, like how they would play it. It was just so fishy. It was so fishy, and it just it just made me feel that it was just in house bots. In-house bot sitting there collecting money. And when I'm talking about money, I'm talking about we... I'm playing with dudes that got 500, um, 400, not dollars, but 100,000. Not thousand, but 100,000. Um, I, I know I still have some screenshots, and I believe I put some on my um, my Instagram. But it would, that, that's, like, that's, that's crazy, you know? So that's where when when you when you start just recently start hearing me say money uh, money laundering that's 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 where I'm getting at because now all of a sudden um, since I'm back on there now but a brief period of time of like a few months ago when I hopped on just to you know check it out and look a lot of those players those games wasn't going on anymore and what was going on is. And I'll tell you that what I've what I've done myself, and I think this is, and I didn't know they changed this until, again, about two or three weeks ago. But when you sit down at a table, you have to sit down and load money before you can actually see who's on there. Back then, you'd be able to just, you know, pop on a table, see who's there. Nah, I don't want to play that. And that's what a lot of people were doing. And that's what a lot of other high stakes um, players was doing. They would see the same fishy players, and they'd be like, nah, bro, I ain't going to sit there. And they would hop up and leave. Now those tables are like ghost towns. And that's where it just feels like there was in-house players, there was bots, they were sitting there collecting money, you know, washing money, doing whatever they, you know. Just... So that's that's where I'm getting that from. There's more behind that. Um, but that's just my, my main gist of, you know, why I'm saying what I'm saying. And why I feel the way I feel. Because it's just the evidence. And it's not just my opinion or my thoughts. There's other people that have those same opinions, those same thoughts, those same things that run across their mind. 